In this short guide, we will go over the Secision, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, or Second Encounter from the Root of Nightmares Raid. So this encounter builds on many of the mechanics that are in the first encounter. If you're not familiar with that, please check out my other video on my channel for those mechanics. Essentially, you have two sides of the encounter that you have to jump between and exchange buffs to complete the encounter. There's a right side and a left side, and really to think about it because that can get disorienting, ultimately you have a light side and a dark side. You'll notice when you spawn in that one side has what looks like a light ball with a field around it and another a darkness like what you see in the Vow Disciple Raid. One of those again is the light, one of those is the dark. You want to split up into two groups of three. One goes to the light side, one goes to the dark side. Two of the people in each of those areas, all they're doing is killing ads. That's all they're doing through the encounter. They will need to have barrier for the champion that does show up, but otherwise have weapons that you can slay out and just kill everything within the raid. Again, for the other two people, one on the darkness and one on the light side, they're going to basically take the buff and take it back and forth between the two areas. When you first start up, you're going to have one per, you're going to have your team, whether you're dark or light, stand underneath that ball. Someone's going to shoot it, everyone gets the buff it lasts for about 20 seconds the people who are jumping across are then going to go there you'll find these areas that have like little the nuts like in vow disciple and they have what we call boopers behind them basically you back yourself all the way up to that and it'll shoot you all the way to the other side obviously be careful because in some cases you could hit a wall or stuff like that so just be careful as you're doing this the first time across you're going to be on the opposite side so if you start on a dark you're going to be on the light side now you're going to want to find within that 20 seconds, you're going to go over and find close to where that first area that the light side started. You're going to want to find a little orb that you shoot. One thing to keep in mind, just like in the previous encounter, they were actually on the orbs themselves. They will point you kind of where you're supposed to go. So that will help you a great deal. On that first one too, it'll be all the way again towards where that starting area is, but towards the back wall. Once you do that, then you're going to say, okay, well then what do I do next? What you're going to, want to do again is then go over and use the booper on this side and jump all the way back to where you started. That will give you the buff again that's on your side. In this case, in my example, it's a darkness buff. With a darkness buff, then you're going to find the next one in your area, so on your side. And that one's going to be closer to the edge of where you can jump over. So you'll do that. Then again, you will go back, get the buff, and then jump to the side. So you do this about five times, going between sides. While you're doing this, the person with light is going to be doing the same thing. Once they're done, then that's when you can go and kill the remaining ads. Now, one thing to keep in mind, there's a couple things. One, for the people who are in the, in the room, they're going to constantly have to come back to you, at least one of them, and get the buff when you're getting the buff, right? That's one thing they're going to have to do because they'll need that for killing ads. But the one thing you're not going to want to do is you're not going to shoot that orb again until the person who needs it, in other words, the person that's jumping back and forth is ready to get it on that side. The reason is, if you shoot that orb when they're on the other side, trying to shoot their orb that's on the other side, it will disappear. So even if it means for a period of time you can't kill the enemies because you don't have the right uh, debuff to take damage to them, just hide and play it safe and wait for them to come back. Again, once you're done with that, you're gonna continue to just kill ads and then you'll be done. When you're done, what'll happen is They'll be, again, the boopers, but the boopers in this case will, will kind of angle up. They'll take you to the next area on top of this so that you do that on a second level and then a third level. Once you do that through the first level, second level, and third level, the encounter is incomplete. One thing to keep in mind as you do this, though, is that the enemies will continue to get more challenging. You will have champions. So especially as you get to that third level, they're going to be incredibly more difficult enemies than you face on the first level. Do that again on those three levels and you complete the encounter. That's the video guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.